Hello music fans, it's Brennan from Death by Unicorn here for another episode of What's New 2022. I listened to two albums that came out today. Today's July 29th, 2022. And I love them both. They're both probably going to make my top 10 of July and likely will even both make my top 40 of the year. So I really like them a lot. The first one I listened to was by Dance Gavin Dance and the album's called Jackpot Juicer. This is post hardcore with some experimental, progressive, and math rock influences thrown in. It's their 10th album. If you're a fan of bands like Idola, Hail the Sun, Seder, a bit of Protest the Hero vibes in there too. It's got high pitch emo sounding clean vocals uh, with some hardcore screams sprinkled in as well very busy lead guitars that almost never take a break the whole time uh, pretty cool fast drum parts uh, really good good listen just great songs the vocal melodies are actually pretty catchy too uh, so definitely an ex exciting journey reminds me a lot of the the Seder album uh, from earlier this year, this month as well, which I also love. What was that called again? Totem. Reminds me of that. It's pretty good. And the second album that I listened to today was by Ryo Okamoto, and it's called The Myth of the Mostropus. And this is progressive rock, and it's his fifth album, unless you count a soundtrack that he did, in which case it's his sixth. He's the keyboardist from Spock's Beard. And this is for fans of bands like Transatlantic, Pattern Seeking Animals, the Neil Morse band, Spock's Beard. It's awesome epic prog compositions with great guest musicians, wonderful playing. Highly recommend it. There's only six songs on here, but it's about an hour, so they're long. I think the, the last song's like a prog epic, like 22 minutes long. So that type of prog epic music, uh, really good keyboards all throughout, really good everything, great guitars, vocals, guest vocalists are good. And that's it for today. I hope one of those two sounds really interesting to you. My next video will likely be my top 10 of July, so stay tuned for that. Peace out.